Hi everyone, Christoph Chu from Coa Banker Previews International in Beverly Hills. Today I'm going to take you on another driving tour of Stone Canyon Road. I haven't done it for a few years, so I thought I'd do an updated version to give you a little scoop on kind of what's been going on on this part of Bel Air, Los Angeles over the last couple of years. So let's start our driving tour, shall we? Come on, let's take a look around. So I just turned off of Sunset Boulevard and we were on the lower part of um, Stone Canyon Road here in kind of the middle of Bel Air. It's kind of the central part of Bel Air <clears throat> between East Gate and the West Gate of Bel Air. Uh, this is a home two of my friends have owned. My, one of my friends currently owns it. No, I can't really see it. Um, it was formerly the home of Jack Douglas, who was the owner of John Douglas Company, where I first started my real estate career. And I remember back years ago, Jack had purchased the house. It was a um, small mid-century kind of 60s style house and he was redoing it. And then he ended up tearing it down and building that beautiful home, which couldn't see too well. Sorry about that. But anyways, so this is where Stone Canyon meets Bellagio. And again, you can't see behind those beautiful trees, which were actually planted for this property. That's one of the off-market homes. It's been quietly shopped around for sale for $150 million. It's a French chateau-style home made of limestone. Uh, beautiful, beautiful property. And it's about 45,000 square feet. That's one of the gates to the property. Now, Stone Canyon is one of the most popular areas in Bel Air, particularly if you like the country atmosphere. Um, you may not know it, but there's a little stream that goes down the left side over here. Here's a home, probably built in the 1930s. It did sell a few years ago. I forget the price, but they're remodeling it yet again. So we're on uh, Lower Stone Canyon currently. And right up there is the world famous Bel Air Hotel. It's one of the only hotels in all of Los Angeles that's in the middle of a residential neighborhood. Um, I forget how many acres it is, but it's really quite special. Many, many of my clients that don't want to be right in the heart of Beverly Hills stay at the Bel Air Hotel because you've got a lake, you've got the swans, you've got all the trees. It's just it's so beautiful. And um, Got a great restaurant. Wolfgang Puck opened uh, the restaurant. No, they've had restaurants forever, but Wolfgang Puck opened the Wolfgang, Wolfgang Puck restaurant there a few years ago. So it's nice. We can leave Beverly Hills and still get Wolfgang Puck food just, you know, five minutes away. So this is the backside or the side of the hotel, always under construction, uh, owned by the Dorchester Group, which owns the Beverly Hills Hotel. And um, I think it's the only one in LA. So again, it's down Canyon. Really, really pretty street. Uh, it's really only one way in and out, so this is it. Um, over to the right here, interesting story. This is a house that I had listed for sale. It was not this before, but uh, this is back, gosh, about four years ago at the kind of worst point in our marketplace. I put that house in the market on a Friday. Didn't have any ads. I just put out about 17 signs. On Sunday, we had about 250 people come to the open house. By Monday, I had 16 offers. Uh, listed at a million eight ninety nine, it sold for two point one million sight unseen to a buyer from London, who tore down the house and um, built that new house you just saw. So right now on Stone Canyon, the houses are ranging pretty much starting around five million up to forty million. Uh, the forty million dollar house is on, I believe, about four acres. I'm actually going to see that today. There are a couple of off street. Um, offshoot streets that are off of the main road here on Stone Canyon. A lot of traditional homes from the 1930s, 1940s, country English, brick. Um, yeah, and a lot of that architecture has stayed pure. You haven't seen a lot of new construction here on Bel Air Road, although things are changing. Um, right now on Stone Canyon, the average price per square foot of the home sold in the last year is about 1140 square foot. And uh, I think the highest sale price last year was a home that sold, I don't know if we passed it already, it was a older 1930s beautiful brick property on a, about an acre and that sold at about $1,340 a square foot. Um, is that the one there? I think, yeah, I think that was the one we just passed. Anyway, so, um, but I'd say the kind of the main average house up here is about five to uh, six million. I think the average currently right now is about 5.8 million in terms of uh, asking price currently on this particular street itself. Lots of very charming, kind of coal court style homes, ranch style homes, Mediterranean style homes. The former Judy Garland home we're gonna uh, come up to, that's a client is building that house over there, which is kind of cool. And, um, but there's the, hold on, where is it here? 
And Stone Canyon is kind of a long street, by the way, so it does go up. Um, is this the Judy Garland? Yeah, this is the, I think this is the Judy Garland house. I forget exactly. I'm sorry, guys. I can't always remember. I see 30 to 40 houses a week, and I got to try to remember all these details, but I don't always remember it all. So uh, I tried to be prepared, but I kind of do these videos on the cuff as I'm going on caravan, and I just like, okay, let's turn the camera on. Let's talk about what's going on in the neighborhood. So we're kind of on the, we just left the lower part of Stone Canyon, and again, it is a canyon. So for those of you that really love the sun, it may not be the right place for you. Um, because the sun will come up here a couple hours later in the morning and will set a couple hours earlier in the afternoon whether it's winter or summer just simply because you have the mountain and hills on either side of this canyon. Now once we get up to this upper portion here you'll see that um, the houses on the top part really have some amazing views and I just stopped I just passed by the house that I'm going to take a look at but I just figured I'll take you up to the top of Stone Canyon so you can kind of get the lay of the land here. So it's very woodsy, it's very green. You'll see deer up here, or lots of raccoons and um, squirrels. You know, obviously the wildlife love it that it's in the canyon with so many beautiful mature trees. And uh, so it's a very nice rustic area. And for my clients that are buying, and when I'm educating them, if they like kind of the quiet country atmosphere, but yet five minutes from the city, then Bel Air Stone Canyon is a great uh, option for you. So now we're heading to the top part of Stone Canyon, which ends up in a little cul-de-sac at the top where over the last few years have been a number of homes that have basically been torn down or taken down to the studs and remodeled completely um, in the modern style. This one, I think this one just sold or just came on the market for 4.6 million. And at the top here, what's kind of cool about these houses up here, um, you will get some views, particularly of the Bel Air Reservoir. Um, it's quite beautiful. The Bel Air Reservoir is a very large land of water. It's one of our water storage um, areas here for this part of Los Angeles. So uh, about seven or eight of the homes here on the uh, eastern side of the cul-de-sac do have the uh, reservoir views, which is pretty cool. So you feel like you're in the country, you're five minutes from downtown Beverly Hills, and yet you have uh, a lake view, so it really feels very, very special. So this is the end of Stone Canyon Road. We're kind of at the top. Now you can't see the views from here because we're at the top. There's a modern home that was built a few years ago. This one was just recently built and sold for just under five million, I believe. There's another new construction. So that's my little uh, second part tour of Stone Canyon today um, in the Bel Air area of Los Angeles, 90077. So again, average is about 1,100, 1,200 a square foot. Top end today is just under 1,400 a square foot and homes listed today on the market are ranging from five to about 40 million. So if you're looking to live in LA or looking to explore LA, check out my website, ChristophChu.com, or better yet, just give me a call and I can guide you through the uh, river of life in real estate in LA and help you find the perfect place. See you all soon.